Let's make history. I am currently in Jackson Heights. Originally, this was part of the town of Newton. Remember, Queens was spawned from three huge towns, just as Brooklyn was spawned from six. In 1909, a corporation bought up the land which is now Jackson Heights. And this was due to the fact that the Queensboro Bridge opened that same year. People looking to buy lots and small patches of land to capitalize on the traffic that the Queensboro Bridge would bring into the region. Jackson Heights was named after John C. Jackson, who was a member of one of the original families to settle Queens back in the early 1600s. The Garden City apartment movement was beginning to gain popularity throughout the world. And so once the Great Depression hit in the 1930s, that came to a screeching halt. And then you had an architect named Al Butts, who was unemployed, naturally. And he created a game. He lived in Jackson Heights and he created a game. What we know today as Scrabble didn't start off that way. It started off slightly different and it had a different name, crisscross words. When he began to create early versions of Scrabble, people began to congregate at this church that I'm standing in front of, the Community Methodist Church in Jackson Heights. And people would get together in the community center within the church and play the game. So years later, that Scrabble is worldwide as so millions and millions. The city decided to make the sign resemble a Scrabble tile. As you can see behind me, where it says uh, 35th Avenue, you have miniature numbers down below the letters, next to the bottom of the letters, the same way you have in Scrabble tiles. And that was a testament to the creation of the very game Scrabble, which was created in Jackson Heights. Jackson Heights actually has its own documentary. It's called In Jackson Heights and was released in 2015. Many people don't know, but Jackson Heights is actually the most diverse, the most ethnically diverse place on the planet. There are over 150 languages spoken within the neighborhood. There is a large, uh, a large population of Latin Americans here in Jackson Heights, where you have people coming in from different places around the world, they actually honor the American flag in stark contrast to many people who were born and raised in New York City and, and in America, who actually shun the flag. And walking through Jackson Heights, you can see many American flags, more so than you would see in the average neighborhood. Unfortunately, many of the people who were born and raised in American cities are spoiled. They didn't go through the struggle their grandparents and their great-grandparents went through. Mm -hmm.